Howdy doody. With time short today, I thought I'd give you a bit of a whiz around Svezda's latest releases by taking a peek at the 1-144th Ferry Battle, a single-engine light bomber, the 1-200th Tupolev ANT-40 forward slash SB-2 high-speed bomber, and the 1-100th British Cruiser fast tank and Dingo Scout car. As we've been accustomed to, Svezda's two new aircraft are quick to build and come with the options to model landing gear up or down. Both sets ship with a very handy set of decals and a flight stand. The 1100 scale A13 Cruiser Mark IV, incorrectly I believe, identified as a Crusader, and early Dingo variant, are 7 and 9 part kits respectively. Sadly, no decals are included in either kit. The A13 is typical as Vesta's occasionally inconsistent standards of detail at this scale, whilst tracks and four road wheels, coaxial Vickers MG and two pounder main gun are finely modelled, the absence of smoke dispensers and simple tooling on the upper hull's lamp, commander's and driver's vision ports and storage bins are surprisingly contradictory. Not so the Daimler Dingo Mark 1A with its foldable roof firmly closed. This is a lovely little kit with superior detailing on the lower chassis, just be careful of the flimsy Bren. All in all, Asvesta's latest releases for Art of War support the early war British player on a limited budget. Sure, there are some inconsistencies here, but you really can't go wrong for £3 a pop. Versatile, lightweight and quick to build, you couldn't be getting a better stocking filler.